Just before 2 a.m. on a chilly April night in Seattle, Washington, a Chevrolet Silverado pickup stopped at an electric vehicle charging station on the edge of a shopping center parking lot. Two men, one with a light strapped to his head, got out. A security camera recorded them pulling out bolt cutters. One man snipped several charging cables and the other loaded them into the truck. In under two and a half minutes, they were gone. That scene has become part of the troubled nationwide pattern. Thieves have been targeting electric vehicle charging stations, and they intend to steal these cables that contain copper wiring. And the price of copper is near a record high on global markets, which means criminals stand to collect rising sums of cash from selling this material. So it's obvious these stolen cables often disable the entire charging station, and that means EV owners are stuck searching desperately for a working charger, which has been a problem with electric vehicles from the beginning. Now for the owners, the predicament can be exasperating and extremely stressful. Broken down chargers have emerged as the latest obstacle for US automakers in their effort to convert Americans to electric vehicles, despite widespread public anxiety about the scarcity of charging stations. About four in 10 adults say they believe electric vehicles take too long to charge and don't have enough charging stations available nearby. Over over the past 12 months, thieves in the Seattle metro area have stolen over 100 electric vehicle charging cables, driven mostly by soaring copper scrap prices. This is incredibly frustrating for EV owners who arrive at the charging stations only to find the severed cord and unable to charge. It's not just Washington state, but in Los Angeles, California, copper wire theft has been a growing problem in the region for years, with thieves disabling street lights, rail lines, and pilfering copper wires, of course, including from EV charging stations, and they can fetch several hundred dollars per pound at recycling centers. And over the last few years, this has cost taxpayers over $17 million. Now thieves are shifting to electric vehicle charging cables across the country, leaving drivers stranded when they really need a charge. Sites in Nevada, California, Arizona, Colorado, Illinois, Oregon, Tennessee, Texas, Pennsylvania have been hit as well. So it's not localized to just states that have a lot of electric vehicles. Stations run by Tesla, which operates the nation's largest fast charging network, well, they've been struck as well. Charging companies say that there isn't actually very much copper in these charging cables, and what copper is there is difficult to extract. They estimate the criminals can get about $15 to $20 per cable at a scrapyard. Still, the more cables the thieves can steal, the more they can cash in. And at $20 a cable, 20 stolen cables could fetch $400. And thieves often burn off the insulation and just sell the strands of the metal. Of course, what they're using the money for, who knows? But the charging companies are trying to fight back. Electrify America is installing more security cameras, but that may be too late. And if you own an electric car, charging at home is your best option. And if public charging is your only option, well, don't run the batteries so low till you actually need the charge. Maybe go just a little bit early, just in case the thieves have gotten there before you. No one wants to be stuck at a charging station without a charger and without a charge on your battery. As long as the price of copper is high, these thieves are out to zap your ability to charge. Make sure to plan ahead and use the apps that are built into the car so you can find a charging station so you don't get stuck. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be more than happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, my book, and our podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.